Hello YouTubers, welcome to Edification 360 Degrees and so today we are going to be tackling economics and management sciences and so since it's the second week content we are going to be dealing with accounting concepts. The accounting concepts are divided into two separate videos and this is the first accounting concepts video. Stay tuned. Economic and Management Sciences Grade 7 Accounting Concepts Video Number 1 Let's get started! Accounting Concepts In Grade 7, we look at the following accounting concepts Assets, Liabilities, Capital, Income, Expenses, Profit, Loss, Banking, Financial Transactions, Financial Records, Savings, and budget. Due to the number of accounting concepts which need to be covered, there are going to be two accounting concepts videos. The first video looks into what is accounting, capital, assets, liabilities, income and expenses. The second video covers the following, profit and loss, banking, budgets, savings, financial transactions and financial records. Before we get started with accounting concepts, it's important for us to understand what is accounting. When we speak about accounting, we are speaking about the process of documenting a business's finances by keeping track of its expenses and incomes. The first accounting concept that we deal with is capital. What is capital? Capital is the money or possessions that you would use when you are starting your own business. When you're starting your own business, at times there are certain finances, certain money that you would need to start that business, that is capital. Also in your business, there would then be other positions that you would need to start your business. For example, if you are starting a hair salon business, you would need chairs, hair dryers, and certain equipment. Those equipment that you would then put into the business, those are also known as capital so capital is not necessarily always the money also the possessions that you then put into your business as you start it the second accounting concept that we look at is assets what are assets assets are those items of value that a business or person owns in other words money or goods that can be converted into money by selling them Assets are divided into two groups. We have fixed assets and we have current assets. Fixed assets. Fixed assets are things like buildings, vehicles, equipment that belong to a business. Fixed assets do not get changed or used up all the time. And usually they last longer than one year. And now current assets. Current assets, the stock, goods, cash, and debtors. Debtors meaning people who still owe you money to the business for goods sold on account. These are current assets of a business. Current assets are used within the present business year or cycle. Third concept is liabilities. Liabilities are the debts that a business or individual has to pay. Debt is created when a business or person borrows money or buys goods and services on credit. A person or business from whom you have bought something from is called the creditor. There are two types of liabilities. We have current liabilities and long-term liabilities. Current liabilities are those liabilities that must be repaid within one year. For example, overdraft, short-term loans and creditors. Long-term liabilities. Long-term liabilities are paid back over a longer term, usually over a couple of years. Long-term loans, 
for expensive equipment and bonds or property are examples of long-term liabilities. Simply put, liability, it is the money that you owe to other people or other businesses. If you really, really heard and understand the three concepts that we have done so far, we looked at capital. We said capital is the money or possession that a person needs to start their own business. We looked into asset and we said assets are possessions that you own. Liability. We said that is money that you owe to other businesses or other people. Now there is a practice activity, practice activity 1.1, which needs to be done by yourself so that you see if you really, really understand these concepts. Question one. Tick whether the items in the table below are classified as capital or asset or liability. And so to tick, we are going to be using an X. 1.1. A car that is bought on credit. Is that capital, asset, or liability? 1.2. Equipment and land of a business. Is that a capital or an asset or liability? 1.3. Stove used to start a food business. Would that be a capital, asset, or liability? A company bus, would that be a capital, asset, or liability? 1.5. Machinery used to start XYZ business, would that be a capital, asset, or liability? 1.6. A mountain bike, would that be a capital, asset, or liability? 1.7. Housing bond payments. Would that be a capital or asset or liability? 1.8. 75,000, which is used to start ABC business. Would that be a capital, an asset or liability? And lastly, 1.9. Outstanding balance of house payment. Would that be a capital, an asset, or liability? Once you have answered all of that, you should give yourself a mark out of nine. The answers for this activity will be reviewed in the next video. And now next up, we have another practice activity. Practice activity 1.2. And this will really help you with determining fixed assets and current assets. What is the instruction? Looking into the assets below, classify the following under the fixed asset column or the current asset column. What are our options? We have debtors, slippers, cash register, personal computer, packaging material, money in current account, furniture, petty cash, and delivery van. Just a quick reminder, current assets, Current assets are short-term assets that are typically used up in less than a year. Current assets are used in day-to-day -day operations of a business. When we speak about fixed assets, fixed assets are more long-term. These are physical assets, for example, equipment and a car. So, let's get started. Debtors. You would need to determine debtors, would it be a fixed asset or current asset? Slippers. Slippers that you would wear in the morning, would that be a fixed asset or current asset? Cash register. Fixed asset or current asset? A personal computer, would that be a fixed asset or current asset? Material which is used for packaging, would that be a fixed asset or current asset? Money. In a current account, would that be a fixed asset or current asset? Furniture, fixed asset or current asset? Petty cash, fixed asset, current asset? And lastly, a delivery van, would that be a fixed asset or current asset? Once you are done with the activity, please do give yourself a market of nine. The answers for this activity will be reviewed in the next video. 
the next concept that we look at is income. Income is the money that has been received or money that must still be received by a business for services that they have given out or for goods that they have sold. Examples of income are sales, rent received, and interest received. After looking into income, we need to look at expenses. Expenses are the cost of a business. And at a later stage, in the next video, we'll be looking at the different types of expenses. For example, a business would need to pay for water and electricity, maybe a telephone account, maybe certain equipment that they would need. So those would be examples of expenses of a business. And now to see if you really understood the concepts of income and expense, there is practice activity number two. Before we get started with the activity, just a quick recap. Income, it is the money that comes into the business. Expenses would be the cost of the business. The instruction is read the case study below of ABC business and write down the business's income and expenses. The case study. ABC Hair Salon is a salon in your community. You are given the following information about it. One room is rented for 2500 to another business. On a monthly basis, they have to pay for the following. Telephone, water, hair products, electricity, salaries, and wages. They receive a commission of 2450 On a weekly basis, they must pay delivery fees. There's also day-to-day -day cost of transportation for their staff members. And so what you need to do is you need to read this case study. You go to each point and in each point, you need to determine whether those are income or those are expenses. For example, one room is rented for 2,500. This is rent income, meaning that this point would then go into income. You'd go write that under income in the table below. On a monthly basis, they have to pay for telephone, water, hair products, electricity, salaries, and wages. And so you look, is the business getting money or are they spending money? If they are getting money, it is income. If they are spending money, that is expenses. And so you need to do that with all of the points that are in the case study. And once you are done doing that, we are going to review this activity in the next accounting concepts video. our lesson we are going to quickly do a recap firstly we looked into accounting we said accounting it is a system that businesses use to keep a record of their transactions then we moved on to capital capital it's the money or possessions that is needed to start a business then we moved to assets assets are possessions of a business liability liability is the money that you owe to other businesses or to other people income income is the money that is received by the business expenses expenses are the costs of the business that is it for today thank you thank you for watching and i hope you have learned remember that if you have any questions please feel free to comment below Thank you so much for watching the first Accounting Concepts video for Economics and Management Sciences. Remember, there are two videos, so stay tuned for Economics and Management Sciences Accounting Concepts video number two. And also remember to subscribe down below.